This video is over the calculator purification ritual for the Texas Instruments BA2+. I'm your professor, Dr. Stephen Haggard. When you first get your BA2+, it's fresh from the factory and there's nothing in its little head that will mess you up. But over time, things can collect there, for instance, settings that you've changed but forgot to change back, and occasionally, the calculator, like any other electronic instrument, just needs to be rebooted. And that's what we're going to do here. In fact, I would encourage you to do this to a brand new TIBA2 Plus to get it set up and ready to do the kind of intensive finance work that we are going to do. The first step is to hit the second button. It's right here. And then we're going to hit plus minus. Above plus minus, you will notice it says reset. That's what we're going to do. We're going to reset the calculator. Up here it says reset with a question mark. It tells you what to hit if you want to do it. So we want to hit enter. Now it'll say RST 0.00. .00. We can hit clear again. Now your calculator is exactly as it was the day it came from the package. The problem with this is that with two decimal places, you do not have enough decimal places to answer problems correctly. And you can have some rounding issues down the road if you do this. So what we want to do next is to change the decimal mode. We want to hit second. The decimal point, which says format above, up here it now says decimals equal. Right now it's set for two. We want to set for nine. Enter. Why do we pick nine? Because in nine, a special mode kicks in. In this mode, if we hit one divide by four, it gives us two decimal places. But if we hit one divide by seven, it gives us every decimal place it can. The point is that it only shows you the decimal places that are actually there. If you were to put decimals 8 in for 1 divided by 4, we would have had 0.25 and then 6 zeros, but the zeros would be basically meaningless. That's why the 9 is such a good way to go. Now there's one more thing I want you to check. I want you to hit 2nd, and I want you to hit I over Y. Notice it says P over Y right above that. That's payments per year. For purposes of my class, we'll always use payments per year equal one. And for any of the gray calculators, these are the automatic settings, payment per year equal one. However, if you have one of the old brown ones, the default setting is 12 for 12 months in a year. So how do you fix that? Well, you just type one, enter, and you're good to go. So now you can hit clear, and you are ready for whatever problems come your way.